Alright, seventh grade, lesson 76. This is complex fractions. Now we're doing all kind all things complex today, complex figures, and now we're doing complex fractions. All that to say, this is what a complex fraction looks like. For example, three-fifths divided by two-thirds. And the reason why this is a complex fraction is because we have a fraction and a fraction over a fraction. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Okay. So when you see something like this, your brain goes, what? Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to write it out in a different form that we see um, division problems in. So we're going to say 3 fifths, and instead of this divided bar, we're going to use the divided sign. Okay, so 3 fifths divided by 2 thirds. Okay, and now you've seen these all the time. Okay, a fraction divided by a fraction, you can't divide fractions, you have to multiply them. So hopefully you remember the rules. We're going to change this division to multiplication, and when you do that, the fraction to the right flips or goes to its reciprocal. So two-thirds will become three-halves, right? All right, and then we would just work it, and there's nothing to cancel out or reduce. So we're going to go three times three is nine, and five times two is 10, and that is the final answer, 9 tenths. See how we did that? Pretty simple once you break it down. All right, now let's look at this one. This one may look a little weird. All right, 25 and 2 thirds all over 100. Okay, that's our complex fraction we're looking at. Now what I would suggest you doing in order to work this problem is you're going to find the... Um, Improper fraction, okay, of this one right here. So remember that rule where you go 25 times 3, which is 75, plus 2, 76, 77. So 25 and 2 thirds written as an improper fraction is really 77 over 3. You remember how to do that in the improper fractions? Okay, now I'm going to erase this and pretend like it just says 77 over 3 divided by 100. Now, this one does not have a fraction, but can I make this into a fraction easily? Any whole number can be made into a fraction by putting it over 1. Do you remember that rule? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we take this and write it in a different form. So let's do that. 77 over 3, and this divided by bar I'm going to make into a divided by sign. 100 over 1. Okay? And then I can erase this whole thing that looks funky. Okay? And now I'm going to work it so I can't divide fractions. I can multiply them. So that time, that um, division becomes times, and then I flip it. 100 over 1 becomes 1 over 100. And that ends up being 77 over 300. And I'm looking to see if it will reduce. It does not. So that is your final answer. 77 over 300 as your final answer. All right, let's do a few more and you'll be done. Um, all right, walk me by on what I'm supposed to do with this one. What was the first thing you would do? Um, well, we'd probably just do what we did last time. Okay. So it'd be three times seven plus one. Okay, so let's go and make this into an improper. Three times seven is 21. 21 plus one is 22, so it'll be 22 over three, right? Mm -hmm. All right, what are you gonna do with that 15? Over one. 15 over one. Very good. Yeah, you did it just right. Okay, let's write it out in a form that we're used to seeing. 15 over one divided by 22 over three. Get rid of that. And now since we can't um, divide, we're going to multiply and then we flip. 22 over three becomes three over 22. Okay, and then we're going to multiply. 15 times three is 45 over 22. And um, as you can see, this is an improper fraction. Um, in the next book, they're going to allow you just to leave it like that, but in this book, we, we still work it. So let's go ahead and make this into a mixed number, make it proper. So 45 divided by 22, 22 going to 45, two times will give us 44, and then we get one left over. So 22, or I'm sorry, 2 and 1 over 22. Final answer. Okay? All right, last one. And this one may kind of confuse you, so pay attention. Here's what it says to me to do. Change 83 and a third percent, so I'm going to go and put the percent sign, 
It just says percent. Change 83 and a third percent to a fraction and simplify. Now, change to fraction and then answer or simplify. Now, you may be looking at this going, well, it is in a fraction form, sort of. Because it has this percent, it's actually in percent form. We need to make it into a fraction. Now, if I told you something was 50%, do you remember how we will make that into a fraction? It's been a long time ago. Percent means per 100. So 50 over per 100. All percents, to get rid of this, you have to put it over 100. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So anytime you see a percent in a problem, in order, you can't leave it as a percent. You always have to change it into something. So we're going to change this percent into a fraction. So this percent portion, in order to get rid of, we have to put 50 percent means per 100. Per 100. Okay? Per cent. And if you think about cent, there are 100 pennies, 100 cents in a dollar. So per cent means per 100, just to kind of give you a brief overview. So what am I going to do with this to get rid of that percent? Um, to make 50% into a fraction, I did 50 over 100. And you to, do the same thing. I'm going to make it, right. So I'm going to make 83 and 1 third in this percent. To get rid of that, I'm going to put it over 100 to make it into a fraction, right? Mm -hmm. You understand what I just did? All right, now it becomes one of those problems we just did a while ago where you have to go 83 times 3, which is 249 plus 1 is 250. So 250 over 3. Okay? And then over 100, and what would you do with that 100? Very good. And then when we rewrite this, it'll be 250 over 3 divided by 100 over 1. Then we change that. And then change this. And this actually, um, we can cross cancel out some. We can divide by 10 on both of these. And when you divide by 10, you basically cancel out the zeros. That's dividing by 10 and dividing by 10. So now I get 25 and 10. And I can even cancel out that. Um, 5 will go into 25 5 times. And 5 will go into 10 2 times. And I think that's all I can cancel. And then so that I go 5 times 1 is 5. And 3 times 2 is 6. Answer is 5 6. So 83 and a third percent as a fraction is 5 6. Got it? Yep. That is lesson 76.